Greetings, everybody, and happy holidays. And let me just go ahead and say in the words of the immortal Fresh Prince himself, you know, sometimes parents just don't understand. Well, listen, and for those of you old school, you know what I mean by that song. But sometimes doctors just don't understand. Now, let me come on get you down here a little bit closer because we need to talk about this for a second. The reason why I make this statement is this, and this is one thing I need pe people to understand. In order for you to be able to get approved for disability benefits, what do you need? Medical records. What does that mean? You need your doctor's information, meaning you need your doctors to provide information about your condition so that they can help demonstrate whether you're disabled or not. Here's where it gets tricky. Because every now and then, I'll get a person who comes to me and says, Attorney Reeves, my doc really just doesn't understand about my situation. What do I do? I said, you know what's funny? Because in this age of healthcare reform and universal health care and all the things that are going around, the simple fact of the matter is, is that there are some people who are destined to do what their professions call them to do. In other words, doctors just want to practice medicine. And they're not trying to go out of their way to help you prove you're disabled or help you get this or help you get that. Those are extra perks. They're trying to help you get better. And that's really what you need for them to focus on. But here's a couple things that you need to have in mind to kind of help you out in terms of helping your doctor understand. First of all, the doctor, think of a doctor like a mechanic. They can't fix it unless they know what's broken. If you are applying for disability benefits based on your particular condition, you can bring it to your doctor's attention. It may be helpful to you because sometimes they just don't know. Second of all, keep in mind, it really boils down to what is actually wrong with you. You're really going to get a doctor that's going to give you anything more than what they think is going to help correct your problem. What does that mean? Well, if you've got a backache and they give you, you know, Flexerel or muscle, Soma, like a muscle relaxer and so forth like that, that's what they think will be necessary to help your condition. They're not going to send you for a battery of tests, you know, x-rays, MRIs, and neurologists, physical therapists, if they think that just giving you this medication is going to help. Now, here's the other thing that you got to keep in mind. In most medical situations, the primary doctor that you have is your gatekeeper. So the doctor, that doctor is going to try to do everything he or she possibly can to provide you with as much relief as possible. If the doctor doesn't know that your condition is limiting you or bothering you in any way, particular shape or form, they're not going to give you anything more than what you have told them. So in essence, think of it like this. Let's say your back hurts, but you hurt in your back, your shoulders, and your middle back. But the only thing that hurts really bad is your lower back, so that's all you tell them about. Well, that's all they're going to worry about trying to treat you. So they can't worry about anything else if you don't tell them. Secondly, and this is the hardest part about the medical process. So in some instances, you may be bound by the, by the healthcare system you're tied into. What does that mean? Well, most people who apply to Social Security don't have insurance. So that means what? That means you're either going to free clinics, the health department, or you've got a share of costs where you have to pay maybe 10, 20 bucks and then the, the county or the, or the insurance you have covers the rest. And you're going to have to do everything through that gatekeeper. That means that primary doctor. That means if the primary doctor thinks that your condition is you know, bad for, to a particular degree, but not so bad where you need to have a referral to something else, then they're going to continue to treat you. It's tough because when you have your own insurance, like an HMO and so forth like that, and you're paying for it out of pocket, you can go to another doctor if you feel that the doctor that you're receiving isn't providing you with the quality of care that you need. But if you're getting treatment just from going through a low-income housing, I mean low-income healthcare system or a community healthcare system, you can only do what they have available for you. Okay, if they, they're not, like I said before, they're not going to bust their behind and go out of their way to get you all these extra things that you need or that you think you need because what you think you need and what the medical records or medical evidence may show are always two different things. Here's a, one other thing I want to bring to your attention. Emergency room. Boy, I cannot tell you how many people who have found themselves in the unfortunate position of using emergency rooms as a treating source. Remember, an emergency room is what? It is providing you care based on a situation that has become urgent right now. 
if you notice, what do they do in most emergency room situations? They're, they get you there, they stabilize you, then they tell you to go see your treating doctor. Why? Because they're not there to provide you ongoing care. They're there to provide you immediate relief for your problems, and then they're going to encourage you to go to follow up with your primary doctor. Remember, your primary doctor is the one responsible for ongoing care. Emergency room is for emergency care. Now, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people who have, that's the only care they can get. So they got a bad back, they go to the emergency room, they, assign, they give them prescription for pills for a couple of weeks, take the pill, pills, pain goes down a little bit, they run out of pills, a couple of weeks later the back is worse again, and boom, what do you think is going on? Back in the emergency room. Just keep those things in mind that the emergency room is not designed to provide you ongoing medical treatment. And those doctors are in a tough spot because they're not there to be your follow-up. They're not there to make sure you're following your treatment. They're not there to send you referrals things. They are there to triage you, to find out what's going on with you, stabilize you, get you immediate relief so that you can go to somebody else the next day. So keep that in mind. And let me also put this last point. because This is kind of all over the place because I've had a few people ask me about docs and I just want you to kind of understand this. The medical profession is a unique profession because they're there to provide care. That's their mission. You know, I think it's the Hippocratic Oath. They're there to provide treatment for you. So all these other things are pain in the backside. You know, sometimes with workers comp, you know, it's a little different, maybe workers comp, but with the VA, workers comp, your private doctors, they all have different purposes. But most of these doctors at their core are looking to provide you with care. They're trying to improve your quality of life. All this extra stuff that they have to do, they may not be aware about. More importantly, the person that they're worried about making feel better is you. If they don't know what's broke, they can't fix it. And the best thing you want for them to do is to provide an accurate, adequate, and truthful assessment about your condition. Trust me, the fact that they're able to document that to the greatest degree of their, their capability goes a lot further for you than you realize. I know there are times when you think your doctors just don't understand. Sometimes they just don't understand you. It's your responsibility to help them understand your condition and also explain to them what you're trying to do so that if they're writing your medical, they're writing information in your file about a particular way, they can ensure that it's clear enough to assist anybody else who's coming for it, i.e. Social Security, they will have a better understanding of your condition when they see it. I hope this helps you out, and I hope that you understand a little bit more. Again, check me out at LegalBeat.AnthonyReeves.com or go to www.ReevesFirm.com. Happy Holidays. Have a safe and Happy New Year. Again, this is Anthony Reeves, and 